This is the tuner one-shot challenge. It is unfortunately a race, which means we have to deal with the AI. And we don't have as many options as I would like, but we have enough to make a pretty conservative setup. So as you can see, this should be just about as much understeer as I can possibly get into it. So we'll see if any of the AI play nice, or if they are terrible like that. Just break for no reason. See if we can't utilize them a little bit, hopefully. Not, I don't know where on the track I am. This is such a weird spot. For some reason I don't recognize this. Okay, this is going into the S's. I think. Maybe? Oh no, this. Now I know where I'm at. Okay. I was just completely lost around this track, which is odd. God, the, the way the AI breaks for these corners is so poor. And it just makes it so hard to get around them, because you're trying to take the right speed and line, and they're taking the quote-unquote right line, but they take it in such a way that it's at a drastically lower speed than what they should be taking it at. Oh, that was a big lockup. It's so weird, I'm not sure why the opening section confused me so much. It really did. Well, alright, we're at least around them in one lap, even though it was a sloppy lap. For some reason, I confused myself at the start. So I did not take those first few corners nearly as well as I could have. But we'll see what we can do from here. See if we can't get a couple really quick ones in here. A little late on the turn in there. at the end of that corner. But nothing we can't control. Luckily, again, this setup is very conservative. So it allows us to conversely be very aggressive with how we take a lot of these corners. Both on entry and exit. So we can be a little hasty with putting the power down. But at the same time, being a little late with our brakes on occasion. Now that corner is actually much more important than you expect because it leads onto these S's and in this direction those S's are full throttle all the way through all of them. Then there's a tiny lift here to make sure the car doesn't really unsettle itself too much. And it's back on full throttle. So that's a that's almost as important as getting out of that last corner correctly to get down here quickly. In terms of just how much time there is to be gained or lost in that really long straight section there. So for now we would let it run out a little wide there and bring it back in nice and tight for the end here to set us up really nicely for this corner which backwards is actually easier for most people than it is forwards because it sort of unwinds instead of cuts back in on itself but even so this that second lap felt really strong and this lap was feeling really strong also so I feel like we should have a decent time at the end of this, all things considered. Oh, that was way too early on that break point. That's alright, I don't need to make up for it. I just need to continue on quickly. Because the worst thing you can do is just try and make up for it all in one turn. So as you saw there, I went a little bit offline 
and it cost me quite a bit of time in those last two corners in terms of overall speed. All in all, not a bad run really. It's not going to be perfect, but as we see here, it is enough for Platinum, which is good. I'm interested to see how deep into Platinum it was. Not too shabby. That should be a, a decent percentage. I would assume that's probably 30%. So we are still improving our grid autosport wheel usage, <laughs> if we want to call it that.